Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarmat here, back with another episode of Settlement Survival. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. In our last episode, we got tons and tons of good trading done with Carlos, and it was great. And I want to continue that with uh, this episode. We did have a caravan at the end of the last one where it sent out and it was a bunch of food. It came back, and then this thing, we had it set up to cycle and do another one. That caravan went out, didn't buy it insurance because I didn't really watch it close enough and that caravan had an epic disaster so we have no caravans uh but we can form another one and we're gonna do that in a moment but i have three tech points that i want to deal with first so i want to go into the water trading post and i heard that safe shipping is the way to go so we want to get that for sure before we do anything else with that uh water shipping i mean so we're gonna grab that and i would like to get into jewelry but we don't have silver or gold or jade. So that's kind of pointless. Uh, we also don't have uh, toolkits, but I think we should grab silver. If we get this silver going, we have a bunch of good mines now. Let's look at all. We have a good amount of iron ore. We got some steel going. Things are going great. So I'm thinking if we get silver and do some of that, we could start doing some minting and we could start doing some uh, better carvings. I'm pretty sure that this, oh, it's only iron. Okay. Well, regardless, we'll get to gold sand, we'll get to jade and we'll start carving some good stuff. And those are, of course, we're using for shipping uh, trades. So let's get the water trading started right away, just because we have it and uh, I want to do it. And we'll buddy it up right next to this other trade post that we have. Because why not? We're going to go ahead and do that. Cut stone roads for now. We do have a, an obsidian mine that is already working, getting us some obsidian. And I think uh, one of my side goals is going to be replacing all of our roads with these obsidian roads just because I want to. <laughs> I think that'll be really cool. And uh, we, like I said before, we did the gold and uh, I don't think we've ever done a jade road uh, throughout a whole town, but we did do the gold and that was pretty sweet. So I think we'll do the, the obsidian. Uh, we do have a term that looks like it expired. So, oh, two, three of them. Okay, well, I got a little work to do over here. Uh, let's go with mining proficiency since that's going to be a big deal. Livestock cattle. We're going to grab that. And then we are going to go ahead and get a random technology. Okay, so. Exquisite sword. Uh, huh. Ah, there it is. Okay, the exquisite sword at the advanced smithy. And this is going to be a trade resource as well. So let's go find one of our advanced smithies. I think we have one right up in here. Uh, yeah, right here. And we should be able to find advanced sword. Ooh, obsidian tools cool exquisite swords with just two steel okay so here's the scoop <laughs> so we're going to build another one of these we're gonna go like that and uh, i think we're going to since we have a good amount of, of iron ore we're gonna build another smelter and we're gonna leave it at that get these guys built up we're gonna get those started that's cool I'm excited about the exquisite sword need another great trade item. I'm gonna turn this back on so we can get some more dang old uh, hand carts working throughout the town. We have 81 laborers doing great with that. Uh, we do have both of our water nurseries that I wanted to check to see how much more better the water one was than the not water one. So we have 288 in the last year, 260 this year. So let's check this out. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. 148 in the last year and 164 this year. So about 100 more, 120-ish. So that's, that's pretty good. Oh, almost over double in, in the last year. So yeah, water nurseries better as they said they would and they are great. Um, so another thing up here, I have all of these houses as luxury houses now pretty sweet. I'm excited about that. I uh, don't have any people who are homeless, so that's good. But we do want more houses. So I'm gonna continue to build like on these edges, I think. Let's keep going around with that. Uh, but we do have a couple of things. We got that cattle, which we're going to absolutely build some stuff to deal with that guy uh, uh, in a bit here. But check this out. Collection. So we got the cattle and we got ourselves some corn. So I, we had all sorts of goody things that the corn can get us uh, from our trades in the last episode. And that was here, the outdoor kitchen. We had tacos. We had popcorn. Yeah, we got to get this going. So um, the sugar was low. So we were talking about sugar a while ago. Uh, we had tons of sugar canes. Yep, but not a lot of sugars. So let's see. Sugar workshop. Whoa. Wow. 1,000. That's a lot of sugar. Uh, let's put another worker there. And I'm going to try and get a stockpile of that. But I don't know where we're... Oh, I remember that. We didn't know where that was going. Still don't know where that's going. 
but anyways so for cattle we are going to of course need some more corrals so we're going to go ahead and grab a few i think i'm going to go ahead and knock this mountain out because it's annoying uh, and i don't want it there anymore and i can so we're going to go like that we're going to knock that buddy out of there goodbye and then let's go you know what let's just start with obsidian roads since i want to go into obsidian roads anyways we might as well get them get them rolling um let's see so i'm thinking about the spacing here so if we could maybe layer another corral here yeah see that's not gonna quite work unless i bring the road down which we totally could do um let's go ahead and do that and we'll go one there and we'll go one there and let's go ahead obsidian road and we're gonna bring you like so and then we'll go like so and bring this guy down like that all right so Two cattle is going to be in there in just a moment. And then let's go ahead and get some corn. We got a lot of corn that I want to get going here because I want to really get into um, those new foods. We aren't hurting on food by any means. We're doing really great now. Uh, but I still think it would be cool to have that going. So we're going to do that. We'll do those two corns, two fields as corn for now. And while we're at it, let's grab this outdoor kitchen uh, from up here and we'll make another one. Can I fit it in right here? Oh, no, not quite uh maybe not then i was hoping that we could get it close because uh for efficiency's sake but we can't so that's all right but look at that road that is beautiful i love that road super excited to get that throughout the town that's gonna be so cool city and road we're gonna put that right up in here and we'll just yeah i'll replace that in between episodes in between cuts all that kind of stuff and uh, eventually we'll have everything as an obsidian road super great now I, I want to leave this a little bit more open too. We're going to keep going this way some more and then up and over a little bit more with more plantations and corrals as we get bigger and need more stuff. But for now, I'm going to just leave it like that. We could even come down here a little bit. We've got tons of space. We can go on this uh, lake here. It's going to be great. All right, so our silver. We should have a couple mines that are ready to go. See, I thought we had this mine ready. Uh, we have three up here. One we were just looking at. Here's our obsidian mine. Awesome. And we can upgrade this senior mine. Uh, I think we need the lanterns last time I looked. So that was the deal. So once this senior mine gets good to go, we're going to put 10 people in there. We're going to get some silver started. Uh, and now that we're doing okay with uh, iron ore, we might want to make another carver. Like so. Uh, I'm going to crank that up to way more than 200. And we'll make one be wood. And then the other one is going to be... Oh, that takes steel tools to make that? Really? I didn't think I... Wow. Okay. Uh, anyways... We need to make some steel tools. So up here, we had our blacksmith started. Uh, we we're going to make some exquisite swords. Let's go ahead and do that. And steel tools take a little bit. So if we go iron tool, but we have obsidian tools, which I'm guessing are better than steel tools. I don't know for sure, but I, I'm going to guess they are. Uh, so that would be under, is that under forge building kits? Tools, tool kits. Okay, yeah. So that takes steel tools, leather, rope. We should have leather and rope, but uh, steel tools... And we need this tech to learn this, so we can do that. But we can get this stuff started at least. So steel tool. Let's switch this from an iron tool to steel tool. Let's get another worker in there. I'm gonna put it. What? Oh, that's because it's an advanced smithy. This is also an advanced smithy. So we're gonna do that. What are you calling for? Refined fuel. Let's get another worker in there. We should have enough coal. Let's get this. Let's get this party started here. Get this fuel uh, steel processing really, really going. We're going to have tons of steel. We're going to make so much money selling those exquisite swords and having all that steel production. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great and really cool. Uh, I'm going to build another road up in here so that we can start to uh, have a little, little area in here, close it off a touch. I want that boiler room there. That's good. So yeah, let's just let this process get settled uh, and we'll see how many exquisite swords we have in a little bit. And then maybe we could do a caravan for that as well, which would be really, really cool. Let's check our porcelain while now that we're here. Cullery was calling was was needed by something, and I can't remember what that was. Uh, but it looks like we are at cap with that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and now that we have silver ore on the way, I'm going to go silver cutlery. We're going to be waiting for silver ore for a little bit more because we we're just upgrading that mine, which is getting hammered on right now. So that's good. Uh, but we need to have that other ingredient, refined fuel, which we don't have any extra of. So that was right in here the fuel factory oh we had two down here as well didn't we yeah so let's get these things back up and running do double the peeps there 
and we could even go back to timber on this one and let's just go ahead and do uh coal on this one and we'll have the one at timber and the other is at coal okay that'll be good got that rolling oh so our corrals should be done up here yes they are great so let's get some of that uh, cattle action going so this gives you uh beef and leather we'll get that guy started and this guy we want cattle but we need to be able to split this first this guy, you are going to be corn. We should have some corn up over here. Right there, corn seeds, great. Uh, kind of late in the season to start that, but we'll get it going. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ban corn too. And then we can make that, make the popcorn, make the other good stuff. That's gonna be here, but it's gonna be foods. It's gonna be rough food. It's gonna be corn, banned. Nice. All right. Uh, oh, so we had a bunch of liquors and stuff in the last two, last episode, the episode before that. Uh, and we should check that out, make sure that those things are doing great. Looks like we are a little low on glass bottles, but uh, we produce a decent amount of whiskey. 52, 40 medicinal liquor, that's good. So these things are, uh, they got the supplies they need, that's wonderful. Got the herbs, got the water, great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put another worker in there. And glass bottle, this is, take glass bottles? Okay. So glass bottle seems to be the choke point, the bottleneck. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll get another guy here. How are we doing on sand? We need a lot more sand coming in. Uh, clay? Ooh, yeah. Let's double this. Let's double this up. And then we'll double that up. And let's check out our sand pits. We should have the eight people working. Oh, 12. Uh, we have two more somewhere. Uh, looks like we're going to need a little bit more sand. So we're going to make another one. And let's go ahead and put it next to this other sand maker. Boom. Great. Okay. Get that guy going in a while. I kind of ran out of space over here for houses pretty quickly. I could move this out of there. It's forest farms and uh, put that somewhere else, like maybe over here to just free up that area for more housing, because that was kind of what we were doing over there. Let's, yeah, let's do that right now. We'll go ahead and we'll go forest farm and let's go on this side of the forest farm. Let's go. We were 10 by 10s on all these, I think. There we go. 10 by 10 and we'll go 10 by 10 on this guy. Uh, as well right about there okay and then city and road I'm gonna go out like that and you know i'm gonna go ahead and put in a transfer station right here as well instead of a where actually let's do warehouses and transfer stations let's go one warehouse uh shoot i wanted to do the i wanted to fit that in here but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen uh, but we can go run right there and then transfer station and we'll go one it's kind of thinking like right in here there we go that, that's just a deal with the wood in the area really that's all i care about but planks and uh the domestic fuel that's produced there can also get transferred out so that'll be great uh this one let's put another worker in the transfer station oh i did go around and put in three people in all of our marketplaces we are having a, we still have it citizens starving and i would thought that maybe if i had more people in the marketplace they could do more deliveries and get more food out and it would take care of that problem but it doesn't look like that was the case. So I'm not really sure uh, why the citizens are starving, but uh, there's four of them that are. Our other carving workshop is good to go. Let's go ahead and get some iron statues working in there. We're going to do three workers. We've got 68. We're doing great on workers. And new tech point. Okay, so let's see what we got for the tech point. We wanted to do jewelry, right? So silver was happening. Uh, we need the toolkits, though. Uh, do I want to jump into that right away? I don't think so. I think I'm going to hold off a little bit longer. I'm going to go into... Let's go into minting. And we'll just get another mint started. This guy's kind of neat. It produces the coins straight out of the box. It goes silver to the mint. And it goes into coins from there. Kind of a cool little thing. Uh, it's pretty close to our mine right here. So I'll stick that guy right there. And then we're going to go down here. And we're going to put 10 workers in there. We're going to go silver. We're going to go like that. There we go. Awesome. So we got infinite mine, infinite mine. Uh, we got three more mines down here, I believe. So let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. Deep mine. Oh, we're still low on lanterns. So we just got to hang out and wait for the lantern to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, I'll leave it at one worker. We don't really need a ton of workers in there. Now, yeah, and we, we're low on glass bottles anyways. Uh, speaking of which, let's check our sand guy. We got our sand. Boom, boom. Things are happening. Moving pretty quick. I love having the extra laborers it just you can actually play the game i feel like a little bit you get to the end game there's like a, a a point that happens where you just all of a sudden have the workers and you can just kind of just build and do whatever you want and we i feel like we just recently hit that 
we do have a whole batchload of new immigrants 35 i'm gonna leave them i don't need any more right now so we're just gonna hold off uh, you guys still need glass bottles yep okay we're getting that worked out rice cakes lots still lots of rice that's awesome What's the other stuff in here? Glue pudding. Oh, that's where some of our sugar is going. It's that glue pudding. And let's see, where was that? Is that up here? Oh, that's malt. This is also malt. Let's put that up to a little bit more. So we have that storage going. Did we just ignore? Did we just forget about glue pudding? I think we did. Because we have the four mills and we didn't do any glue pudding. Well, okay, so I don't know what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and throw another mill in and let's put it in line with uh, these other little workshoppy areas right here that's cool and we'll get some glue pudding going oh i should be having a dang old caravan going right now shouldn't i oh the water trading post i forgot about you we we got this at the very beginning of the episode so let's check this out so traders will transport selected items to the caravan of the trading post caravan can be dispatched just like the other ones uh water trading posts with large inventory and high death risk requires much more people to do trading good thing we got 74 peeps Okay, so let's check this out. Fra former caravan, we're gonna go see Carlos because Carlos is our guy. Uh, 20 members, wowee. Okay, buy insurance for sure. That's a lot of peeps. And up to 1,100, 11,000. Oh, 11,000, okay. So this is gonna be great when this thing comes back. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and load this up and I'll bring it back before I send it out so we can see together what we're gonna make. All right, we got a handful of variety of goods. Since we have so much cotton, 39,000 cotton, I put in 7,732. It's not worth a ton, but uh, we're gonna ship it out just because I wanna fill up the ship. 254 wooden statues are going out. Don't really have enough iron statues to really bother. 15's kind of meh. No extra steel fur, but look at this. We got 100 jewelry from an event at some point. We're gonna ship that out. We got some cutlery, 213, shipping it out. Porcelain, 622, shipping out. I'm gonna throw in some obsidian too. We got 3,000 already. Thousands going out. And 63 exquisite swords. 104 monies per sword. That's so good. We are gonna definitely get some of these stuff going. Look at how iron statue 104 versus jewelry 90 monies. I think if we got jade statues, we'd just be raking it in. All right, so. Let's see, Carlos, we got insurance. We got the 20 caravan members. We're gonna sell. We are going to farm. Okay, now this is gonna take a minute. So 437 days round trip, expected profits 62,000. So that's awesome. And what we're gonna do with that is I wanna get an order of, that's not the right dock right here. I wanna do an order of, I was thinking a horse. Oh, well, it's 45,000. Uh, so yeah we get forty-five thousand. we can get our horse then we can get into uh, this other good in logistics animal power then we can start moving goods around with horses it's getting good guys we're getting excited all right so yeah we're gonna watch this i want to see if the ship looks different or if it's the same like merchant ship that comes down i'm just, i'm really excited about it it's gonna be great it's gonna be awesome 20 people though man if that if they have a mishap that's a lot of people to lose but I feel like this thing is pretty end game and that's kind of where we're getting to so it, it'd be cool once we see that all that how that all works and we got another merchant ship here we're going to check out to see what they have we're at thirteen thousand money as we could buy maybe a little something something if we find it on there i can't remember how much blueprints were uh, i've mentioned that a few times we're keeping our eyes peeled for them but yep don't see any of those Ooh, chickens though not very much i should just buy some chickens i think we're gonna buy some chickens uh they only have one 4500 monies and we're gonna do a transaction for the chickens and i think we should be able to see the little buddy on the dock oh yeah there they are a little chicken so up here we have this little space area that we're gonna do for cattle but we might as well go ahead and put some chicken in there Ooh, eggs huh you know i i don't think i've ever had chickens out of all of our playthroughs, I don't think I ever got that far. Well, that far. I don't think I ever bothered with chickens. So that'd be kind of neat, something a little different. And uh, how are our cattle's doing? Doing all right. So yeah, we could, I think we need to do a couple more corrals over here. Another one for chicken, another one for cows. Okay, how's our corn doing? Ooh, not almost a thousand corns, nice. This guy right here, we're gonna call for corn. Yeah, let's make tacos. Feeling better to prevent hunger, cool. Uh, yeah. Tacos are fantastic and amazing. So we're going to make a bunch of people making tacos for the town. Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, okay, so this guy, are you prepped? Are you ready out? No, not ready yet. Okay. Uh, so I wish I could see like where they're at with how many. Oh, I can look at that. Wish granted immediately. 63. Okay, so we're just gathering up a little bit more cotton and then we'll be good to go to ship this stuff out to Carlos. And then we'll see how much rep we get. 
hopefully, hopefully we will be able to get to our level four this episode. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I want to get as close as we can. I like the seeds trade. You can get whatever seeds you want. And of course, we've been talking about this guy for a while. We'll get that going for sure. It's going to make that a hot topic, hot priority. Get that built up ASAP for sure, because then we won't have to continue to do this. End game in this game becomes build, build cemeteries and delete the cemeteries. And that kind of stinks. And we'll get rid of that. I'm so excited. That's one of the fight. I, I really, really like this game. I don't have much to gripe about it, but those stupid cemeteries are about the only thing that really ticks me off about this game. Everything else, I'm very, very, very happy with it. It's it's a good game. It's fun. Ooh, okay, so we're getting to a little timber issue again. Uh, good thing we put a couple more trees over here. Let's have the, those guys going. And I know we wanted to get into that uh, dense uh, tree trader guy, and we will for sure, but uh, not quite yet. I want to get, I want to do the Carlos stuff. We're so far with him anyways, and uh, we can do a couple of trades eventually here, so we'll definitely do that once we get a little bit more going. Uh, I think I'm going to do some more... I want to do some more trees in there, kind of. Uh, could we fit, like, another 10 by 10 over here? So I don't want to go in there. You know, yep, well, I'm going to get rid of all of this. Goodbye. We'll do this, knock that stuff out of there, and we'll go with our cool obsidian roads. And we'll do one of these and one of those and we're going to kind of snake our way this way and then we're going to go forest farm and then we're going to go 10 by 10 and our like i said before we got a transfer station right here good to go ship our stuff out ah yes jewelry we're going to grab jewelry we don't have a whole lot of toolkits but we're going to get it started uh that's got to be under treasure yes and let's get this thing going and we'll go jewelry workshop this is our silver yeah how are you doing on silver what are we making it's 53 stored up great uh oh Here's our mint. What have we made so far? A little bit of coins, a handful, doing all right. That's cool. And then this guy, we got bandages being made now, We're using our cotton up, We're using some spirits to make that medicinal alcohol. Let's double up on the workers there. And I want to check to see how our bandages are doing up over here. I thought we had a pharmacy up. Oh, there it is. I knew we did. And there we go. Great, 200. Could go a little bit more quickly, but that's all right for now. And then we can start to work on those toolkits. So the toolkits are going to require us to have steel tools. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build two more smithies. Uh, smithies, I didn't realize, are like super duper valuable with all the things they can make nowadays. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We are going to need... Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to double that. We need some more refined fuels. We're going to need some more steel. We are going to be needing some more iron as well. Where are we sitting at? 4,000? 5,000? We're doing pretty good on iron now. Great, 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 great. And then medicinal herbs are getting kind of low again. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to build a couple more water nurseries. We're going to go over here on the water because that's super cool that we can do that. And we'll go right there. And can we go one more right? I want to make sure that they're lined up. And then we can build our road and right about there. Okay, great. And then we go obsidian road. I wish I wish I was lined up but a little bit better, but it'll be fine. It's fine. And then over here, oh, we got our new corrals built up. We got our cows ready to roll. So that we're going to go with, or excuse me, cattle ready to roll. And then we're going to go corral 29. We're going to do a separate out corral 29. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And then you're going to be for chicken. But we don't have enough chickens yet. We only have the two. Great. Uh, over here, we should have a couple more of these farms ready to go. Tree farm. Oh, yeah, this can be great. Tree seeds, tree seeds, lots of lots and lots of trees going on. Great, great, great. And I might as well just finish taking out this annoying mountain and city and road, baby. Oh yeah, that's so cool. I love those things. Uh, I, I, were, I was talking about this bridge for forever, and I think we should do the bridge next. Uh, now that we got a good amount of the trade points that I wanted, caravan remodel. I like that, but increases by caravan by one. We don't need that anymore. Uh, trade contracts increase the max number of caravans don't really care about that at all right now but we have all the other trade stuff done awesome tech uh education would be great but we need that construction furniture which is this guy which we totally can do but i i wanted to wait until we had timber handled and then i made myself have another timber problem so we're going to fix that again and then we'll be able to get furniture but this is what i'm talking about the bridge building we'll get that we'll be able to get into this other stuff we're, we're moving along. There's not a whole lot of text left, really. Uh, we got to do a whole bunch more processing for foods and leather and stuff. But uh, 
the, the trade is where it's really at. So that's what I'm really excited about. Uh, so we'll continue to work on that stuff. And uh, I'm, I think I'm just going to wait for this uh, ship to come back in 223 days. And I'll bring you back right before so we can see together what we got from Carlos. See where our rep's at. And we'll see what else we can get it to. Be right back. Oh, yeah. There it is. Our first sea trade ship coming back super exciting it's gonna take a moment to snake down here of course but it says we have nine eight days left so it'll be here very very shortly it's gotta be that ship and uh, we'll see what we get from it i did just do an order of toolkits because our uh jewelry guy over here is uh, requiring some so that'll be here shortly as well and there it is sixty two thousand monies awesome uh and and <laughs> new rep level yes okay so oh god so excited okay um i'm, I'm uh, factions four yes seeds trade and then this guy so this guy we are going to do that but we are definitely going to do that in the next episode thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you on the next episode of settlement survival have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening day or night and i'll see you on the next one